good morning folks we had already shot the film this morning already did some splitting had a long intro and I tried to edit the film to bring it to you maybe tomorrow morning and this portion I guess was corrupt or, or God wanted us to do something different because my wife wasn't in it and we may just use this as a standalone video instead of bringing you the wood splitting video that I was going to bring you. For all the new members out there, uh, you may have not went back probably three months in a video and my yellow lab, you see her in every video, she's always with me. From the time we got her as a pup, she's always been by my side. We've done everything together and about three months to go, we noticed she had a lump underneath her right shoulder, front shoulder. And we took her to the vet. And without getting too deep in all that, we, she basically told us the knot was hard. It was against the ribs. It was gonna be too hard to remove it. Too hard to remove it. Even stick a needle in it, she risked of puncturing her lung so we just, she told me, I said, if she know how I felt about Rosie. She said, take her home and give her a hug every day, folks. And a little bit. And a little bit. <laughs> but just look at it, and if it, you notice anything different, we could do different medication to try to slow it. And I don't want to get that too involved in all that, but this week, we noticed it was getting bigger and another little spot had popped up on her left side left side toward her back leg toward back leg and for once you don't know Rosie tore ACL about three years old four years old somewhere in there we we got it fixed uh, so and, and if you ever noticed her getting up she always uses her front legs and we that that tumor was going to hurt her from getting up and so we we didn't have many choices there but we took it the, the, uh, the tumor got bigger this week well we took her this week it, we noticed that it got bigger and i really didn't want to take her out there folks uh, they were going to do x-rays again also to see how much it had grown but we did take her, and they did x-rays, and the, the spot had gotten so big that she, and it actually got a little bit softer, that when she could squeeze it, she could squeeze enough of it, she could, she wanted to stick a needle in it to get a sample of it and put it on a microscope. Because it's, it's, it's different things that could be and she even mentioned this that she can actually she's been fooled one time that it was actually just a fatty tumor that was underneath the muscle and and that makes it hard which i know about those sort of sort of things about probably 30 years ago i had a fatty tumor it was hard on come on my back and they had to go in underneath my muscle and detach part of the muscle to remove it and the last thing the doctor said after they removed it was it was a fatty tumor and it probably gonna grow back so I knew about those sort of things but you know we agreed to let her have a stick of needle and then get a sample and as we sit in the waiting room preparing for the worst which we've been doing that for the last three months we uh she came in the door with a smile on her face and she showed us three slides where she had the, the, the growth on the new growth on the back she said when you stick a needle in it put it on the slide she said it looks like water and that's a fatty tumor she said the, the tumor on the back is a fatty tumor and then when she put a drop of some kind of medicine in it it if it's like dye or something. If it's cancerous, 
it makes the cells show up that she can look under the microscope. And she said, now we're going to show you the slide of her front tumor. And she said, it's the same way, folks. She said, it's a fatty tumor. Which, of all the case scenarios it could be, that's the best thing. And for the last three months, we prayed. Go to bed at night, me and her pray that God would heal her and it could have been a fatty tumor all along or, you know, God answer our prayers. On my Facebook page, uh, I do have a Facebook page and, and I post all kind of pictures and reels of Rosie. So uh, you can look up my Facebook page if you want to. It's Ricky Kiner and you can see a, a whole lot of pictures of Rosie. And, she needs to have a Facebook page of her own, really. But we want to let you know that, first off, God is good. Because we had really prepared for the worst. We expected the worst. And we just didn't know how we were going to go about everything. but. Now we got to deal with the fatty tumor because of its location. We don't want the fatty tumor to grow into her shoulder muscle, which she uses all her front shoulder to stand up. So in the next week or two or within a month, we got to make an appointment, sit down and talk to her. She wants to go in there and remove some of that fatty tumor, slow it down to keep that from happening because with a tore ACL and arthritis setting in when you do something like that she's ten and a half years old uh, she has to be able to use the front shoulders so for the new members and then for the ones that's been around for a while with us watching our journey with Rosie in the wood yard and making these YouTube videos. It's all a new experience to us. Uh, we try to bring you a good family video that's honest and sincere. We don't try to fool you. We ain't gonna lie to you. And uh, just bring you a good video. So we want to bring that to you this morning, the update on Rosie. And I had a six minute, well it was, it was a six minute video with the opening on it. And for some reason, it would not load in the editor. So maybe it's God's plan that he wanted my wife down here to, to join us and, and Rosie sitting, probably the camera can't pick it up. She's sitting right behind us. She's never far from me. You got any, I've been doing the talking. You got anything you want to say? God is good. Praise him every day. I know a lot of videos y'all show you got your animals, but we call them animals, but it's our family. And if they sick, they're going to go to the doctor. I've got some other animals while we feed them and try to do the best we can. But some animals you got in the yard, you just can't put your head on hands on but Rosie is my girl we ride four-wheeler and I have to pick her up now and set her on the four-wheeler I, I grab her and I, I don't allow her to jump no more so I try to do all that for her and we just bless every day to have her and uh, we just want to bring you this different video this morning folks I'm probably gonna show it Sunday morning uh, we'll be having extra prayers going to church tomorrow thanking God of uh, giving us good news this week we hope if you got something going on take it to prayer God's good and the Bible says you have not because you've asked not and believe me we've asked a whole lot in the last couple of months so just want to bring you that video, and if you got some troubles in your life, ask for God's help.
I appreciate y'all tuning in. Appreciate y'all uh, comments and the likes. Hope you're having a great Sunday. And hope to see you back in the wood yard soon. Appreciate y'all. Damn, I didn't have it recording. <laughs> That's a little humor, folks. <laughs>